I'm sure many of you have realized that nothing was actually verified. And unless you do a verification, you do not have an automated test. So let's go in here and look at the process. First of all, do we have something open that we can click on? We have an obstacle course that we could click on, okay? So let's just say F6, click on that. Great. Now we have something on the screen that we can actually verify. So let's go back to Tosca. Close the scratchbook window. Go back to modules. And then rename that to twins as well. Okay. Right click. Scan application. Let's find the window. There it is there. Any HTML is good. I click scan. Let's go condensed. Actually, hang on. Not condensed. Let's go select on screen. Condensed. Do we want this? No. Do we want that? Maybe. Do you see the question mark? It means it's not recognized. We got various divs and spans. Good job. You solved the automation problem? Question mark. Let me try again and hit me with the next riddle. For the sake of convenience, I'm going to say that if this button appears, we have successfully clicked on the correct button. Later on, we can talk about how things with a question mark can also be used. Like, I really like that sentence, but it's not a nice uh, recognized button. So it says OK, that means it's recognized as a button. But let's click on this. I like that sentence, and I also like that button. It's nice and green. So let's click on Review Items. Interestingly, the question mark is not recognized. So what do we do with that? Maybe we could expand it. You know what? I don't think we even need to. Even though it didn't recognize it, it does have the text that says you solve this automation problem. And this is recognized as well. And the, the text is hit me with the next riddle. So how about we keep um, both of them? <laughs> Twins. Call it um, you solve the problem hit me with next riddle I have a feeling we're going to use this a lot so let's remember this that we have a little module that's created to deal with this recurring theme at the end of each uh, automation obstacle so let's click on close we want to save it back into Tosca and give it a nice name obstacle course and just say solved I can you solved don't need that and next riddle maybe not a great name but it'll do for the time being okay now we need to drag this into our test case. I'm thinking we need to put her in here somewhere. Verify. We want to verify that this exists as well. We don't want to click on it. We want to say exists. Is it true? 
You know, it's because it has a button there. Just type in. And verify. It changed it from a double to two. Because it's doing verify, this operation comes up. So let's just go back and see if we still have it. We do. Let's see if they work. F6. Let's go back to Tosca, Commander. Hey, look at that. Verification was successful. Okay, let's go back and just check one thing. Test configuration. Details. set that there. Now let's just kill this browser and we start again from scratch. Sorry if you're hearing background noise, there's somebody in the corridor outside walking back and forth continuously. So now you can see it opened it, clicked on it, it verified the obstacle had been completed and it closed the browser. And it's pretty good. 